Hi folks, welcome to Keys Maws. I'm here with the fine children. Hello. We are in Broward County, Florida, and this is part of our Wacky Worms series where we're going out into the wild and looking for butterfly moth caterpillars. This is a how-to. Today we're looking for a fruit piercing moth called Gonadonna nutrix. It's a beautiful little moth. It feeds on this pond apple tree. I think you're gonna enjoy this one because this is a crazy cool moth and very few people ever see it. Um, stay tuned, check it out. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So we're looking for the fruit piercing moth uh, caterpillar today. They feed on this pond apple. It's actually a moth that very few people ever see. They hardly ever come to lights. The best way to look for them is actually looking for the caterpillar on the host plant. They're actually really easy to see. Pond apple is in the Anona family and uh, it gets its name from these fruit that it bears here. And this is a pond apple fruit if you want to zoom in on that and check that out. Um, I don't know how edible they are, I honestly have never tried. But there's other plants in the Anona family that people know all around the world. There's this thing called sweet sop or uh, sugar apple or in Latin America they call it Anona and that is some good stuff. Um, and there's also sour sop. And it's all in the same family and the fruit piercing moths will actually use those as host plants as well. So, but we're going to look now and the, the caterpillar is super cool. kids. Uh, what you're going to do in looking for them is you're going to look for look for them on the undersides of the leaves. They're velvety black with all these orange spots on them. Let's go see if we can find some, okay? Kids, it's your turn now. So we're going to go and this is our uh, pond apple plant. We're going to go and look. There's this little park here in Broward County and it's right in the middle of downtown uh, Coconut Creek and we are just going to go around and look at some of these pond apple plants and see what we can find. So why don't we start looking for caterpillars guys? Let's do it. What you want to do is you want to look at the new growth. You see these little tiny, these, these, these newer leaves that are real kind of soft and, and tender. That's where the, the caterpillars are going to be feeding. So yeah, something ate that one. But you see how that's old? That leaf is look old and it. hard and it's turning turning brown and stuff, different colors. So that's yeah. really not going to be the... Here. Yeah, so that's exactly right. So now there's some, some nice new growth. Yep. So here's the pond apple tree. They, they grow right on the sides of the water, and a lot of times they grow in the water, but this one is actually in the ground in the dirt here. But they get pretty big, and they, uh, this one's, this is a pretty big pond apple. Look, here it is, you can look underneath them. Huh. This could be a cocoon. That was a cocoon right there, but it hatched out. It's already emerged. I don't know. Yeah, so there's there's plenty of evidence of them being around here. So I think we're in a good place to look. So let's keep looking. Oh, look at that. And a towel butterfly. Yeah, a towel butterfly. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see, man. Is fruits good to eat? Uh, I'm really not sure if the fruits are edible. I've heard that they are, but... Um, I can't say for sure. And should you ever eat fruits that you're not sure what they are? Yes! Uh, no. Thank you, only Lorenzo. Only ice cream. Only ice cream. Okay, That's well, a good fruit. We only eat fruits that, that, you're, that we know what they are. Whoa! Look at this. What? What, what is that? A towel. Oh, a towel. Oh, you know, look, look at this. There's all kinds of butterflies on this plant. This is a monk, Asbolus capucinus. Yeah, he sounds like a frappuccino. Sounds like what? Frappuccino. Frappuccino? Frappuccino butterfly? Well, it kinda, it's the same color as a frappuccino. Cool bug. We're finding all kinds of bugs today, aren't we? Yeah. Awesome. And they feed on the Creeping Charlie plant. So. See if we can get these one of these peacocks to land. <laughs> oh, 
What's the matter, guys? Um, it's so hot outside. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome to Florida. It is. I can't survive to Florida for me then. Yeah, August in Florida. It's raining. We're waiting the rain out. But the kids are getting refreshed. And we're having a bar. Yeah, we're having a bar. Mm. <laughs> you guys find anything over there? No. No? Alright, there's a little one over here. Why don't you check this one out? Okay. Try not to get your shoes off. Those are yours. Those are your mac and cheese shoes, bro. <laughs> Alright guys, there's another little pond apple right Let's there. See. see what you can find. What? Is that one? Yeah, that's one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Fruit piercing moth. Oh, nice find, guys. Oh, thank you. Going to Donna Nutrix. So we will take this guy home, and we'll raise him, and we'll see if we can get some really cool video of the adult when it pops out. Sound good? Let's do this. Hey, guys, good find. Yeah. High fives, man. High five, high five. Woo. I was All right. <laughs> Going to Donna Nutrix. Sweet. Okay, this is enough business. Let's go play. Yeah! So guys, we found our fruit piercing moth caterpillar. Woohoo! That's awesome. Uh, I think that's worth a like. Hit the little thumbs up button. We're gonna go out and we're gonna keep looking for bugs, right? Yes. We're gonna look for caterpillars and we're gonna show you how to find the butterfly moth caterpillars of South Florida. Uh, so if you subscribe, we'll get you more videos like these. Um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Bam, we have a great website, and that is www.keysmoz.com. Keysmoz.com. Check us out there. We've got tons of information there. Um, we'll, we'll give you some video of once these uh, caterpillars emerge from their cocoons or their chrysalises. And until next time, uh, get out. let's get out there. Enjoy South Florida. Peace.